Hello again. Here we are for Daily JavaScript. And uh, in the last episode, we'll call it an episode, I created a, uh, you know, an array here of all these class names. And we copied the array. We made a new empty array, declared how many pairs we want to choose. And then we chose random elements from this array and then paired them up. And the, the idea was to get um, six randomly chosen pairs where the pairs don't repeat. Okay, so looking at the output here, you can see that I've got, you know, 7, 19, 8, 2, 23, and 17. And there's two of each, right? And none of the numbers repeat. So we can test it again. You can see that uh, except for the repeats, like we don't see the number you know, the numbers come up again, right? So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to take this array here and randomize it so everything here in this array is shuffled around, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use sort. And I want to use sort in conjunction with these two helper functions that I have here. And so what I'll do is I'm going to cut these two out of here and just move them to the bottom here so we can see what they're going to do. So from this stage here, we should have an array that has 12 elements on it in pairs. So, you know, there'll be a pair followed by another pair and another pair. And each of the, there'll be six pairs, right? And the two items will be, you know, with the matching numbers will be next to each other. So at this stage right here, what we want to do is we want to randomize that array so that all the pairs are shuffled around. So what we'll do is we'll say um, tile array dot sort. Okay, and the sort, um, the sort function takes a, uh, a function object that returns a value of um, negative one, zero or positive one and the idea is the sort function that you supply will look at the at two elements from the array here and we'll just call them a and b and then it will say like hey is you know a uh, less than b equal to b or greater than b okay and then it'll it looks at it compares all the elements in the array this way and passes them all through um, through the sorting function. If you just use sort in this way, it will sort the array alphabetically or numerically. Okay? So, you know, if your array is all numbers, you can just say sort and they'll be sorted numerically. And if you say, you know, if your array is just strings, then they'll be sorted alphabetically. So, you know, if I, if I do this, um, right here when we, you know, console log the array, we'll see the array and it'll be sorted, you know, alphabetically, right? Let's give it a try. So here you can see I've got 5, 11, 18, 6, right? So 6 would have been out of order, and 8 would have been out of order with 16, right? Um, so if I refresh it here, you can see I've got 12, 14, 18, 2. Well, wait a minute, that's not quite right. Um, I guess actually it is because, you know, it's it's sorting on a string since we're starting with a string here, right? So it's, you know, 1, alien 1, alien 1, alien 1, 4, alien 1, 8. And now alien two, alien two zero, alien four, right? So this is actually sorted on a string. If it was just the number, it would have put them in a numeric order, right? I'll try it again. Oh, there's one six, one nine, two, two o, oh, two two, two five, right? Okay, so how do we get them to uh, to randomize? So you can, you can create your own custom sorting functions, and essentially what you do is you just type a function in here, you know. And this function can take two parameters, A and B, and then you can put some code in your code block, right? Uh, what I did is I made a function here, and I actually did mine incorrectly earlier. So I just made this function called randomize. And so I'm going to just pass the randomize function, okay? And actually, you know, I'm not even getting the A and the B value here because I don't really want to compare them. I just want to return a random, you know, value negative one zero or positive one and in that way i'm just randomly saying that this element is either should be either sorted before the you know before equal to or after 
you know, another element, right? And if we do that randomly, it should pretty much mix up the array. I made a mistake earlier. I used two here. And remember, with our random function, it returns a number in the range from zero to, to the range minus one. So if I, if I call on random here and I, I pass a two, it should give me a, a value of zero or one. Really, you know what I want is I, I really should have used um, a range like this, right? So if I do random three, then I'm going to get a number between zero, one, and two. If I subtract one, then I'll get a range of negative one, zero, or positive one. Okay, and then that works well with sort. Okay, so I think earlier I, I, I was not getting the negative one value, so my, my items were not um, as random as they could have been. So let's, uh, let's do that. So we'll, we'll call tile array sort, and then uh, randomize. We'll shuffle the elements in the array, and then we'll log them to the console and see what they look like. So let me hide that, and then we'll go back to the browser here and refresh, and you can see there's six, seven, seven, six, nine, fifteen, nine. right? So that looks pretty random. Let's do it again. Well, 15, 11, right? I don't know. It looks pretty random to me. You know, I mean, maybe there's a, maybe, you know, if you're, if you really need something super random, you got to use a, a, a more complicated function, but this seems to work pretty good for randomizing and shuffling the array, right? Um, so anyway, so there we go. So now let's, as a last step, just for fun, let's assign one of these images to each one of these elements here. And so we, we will we'll use um, uh, jQuery's, um, let me type this in here. So what, what I want to do is I want to select each one of the, the divs with the class name back, right? And then we'll use jQuery's each method, okay? And so this will look at each you know, of these elements that we've selected. So if I, if I call on dollar sign back, we'll, we'll create a collection, essentially an array of every element with the class name back. And then each allows us to look at each one of those and do something with it. And so each is interesting in that you pass it a function, okay? And inside the function, this is the element here that we're looking at. Right, so as we, you know, if we selected three elements with the class name back, then we'll repeat this block here once for each of those three elements, and this will be each one of those three elements one at a time, okay? The function that you put here can also take a parameter, and I'll just put an i here, but this is essentially the, the, the number or the index of each one of these things. Okay, so, you know, if we had three elements with the class name back, then I is going to be 0, 1, 2, okay? And this will be the element for each one of these, right? So what are we going to do? Um, and remember, just as a quick notice, all of my boxes on the screen have, um, you know, two divs inside the front, which is the red card with the little yellow face, and then the back, which is behind that, right? And so when we flip the box over, then we see the back of the card, right? So that's what we're selecting there. So I'll say, you know, you know, dot back this, and then actually we'll we'll turn that into a jQuery selector, right? So we'll say this, and then we'll say dot, you know, add class. Okay, and then the class I want to add is going to be the element from tile array. And since I have a an equal number of tiles to the equal number of elements with the class name back, what I'll do is I'll just say, you know, tile array um, bracket item i, right? So i, you know, since I have 12 tiles, you know, 12 elements with the name back, and I've got 12 items in the tile array, then, you know, this should correspond, right, for each element here to each element in, in the array. So we'll save that, and then we'll refresh it here. And we can't see these guys, but if I inspect them, what you'll see here is that each one of these has a, a class name, right? Alien 22, um, Alien 10, 
Alien 17, Alien 10 again, right? So everybody's got their their class name assigned, right? And then we can add some code to uh, to flip them over, right? And I did that in the previous video. I want to do a little more with that in the upcoming one. So we'll just, you know, add in a simple flip here. Um, so we could say, you know, let's say, uh, what did I call those guys? I think I called them box, right? So we'll say for each box um, dot uh, click, we'll give it a function, and then we'll say, well, I'll just do what I did before. We'll just say, you know, um, uh, this dot toggle class. And I have a class that flips them over called flip. So we'll add, you know, toggle class or add or, rem or remove the flip class, right? And then we'll, we'll see how that works, right? Oh, so there's a purple one. There's another purple one. Right, and all my all my guys are all randomly arranged here, right? And if I refresh, I should have a different set, you know, different colors, different pictures, right? So anyway, so there's a simple example there, and maybe gives you some ideas on you know randomizing arrays, um, sorting arrays, um, using jQuery's each method, right, which is very useful. And anyway, thanks for watching.